Hey guys, what's up? Uh, like many of you, back in December, I tried to get my hands on a pair of Jordan Retro 11 Concords, uh, but I was not successful. Like, it was crazy. The, the sites were crashing at midnight, and it was impossible to get through. And forget about going to a store to get them. Like, people were getting stabbed. There was no way I was going to do that. So for the past two months, I've been um, trying to get myself a pair. You know, checking eBay, Craigslist, and uh, recently, uh, I found a local guy who uh, he was really cool. He worked the price down to something that I felt comfortable paying because there was no way I was going to pay $350, $400 for a pair of shoes. No way. Uh, so uh, I got a pair, and uh, this is going to be kind of like a review slash how to tell if the Concords are legit or not. So uh, let's get started. Start with the box, but honestly, uh, you can't really guide yourself by the box because uh, they could simply put fake shoes inside of a legit box you know what I'm saying but some of the things that you want to look out for is to make sure that the letters are embossed you hear that that sound I heard uh, some of the early releases when you run your fingers through the the numbers it's like smooth they didn't have that little uh, effect but I'm gonna show you the box regardless uh, nothing much really on the back just like the all the the Nike copyrights and, and stuff like that here's the the Concord little insert that uh, covers the shoes again you can't guide yourself by this because this has nothing to do with the shoe itself but I'll show it to you anyway taking a look at the tissue paper you want to make sure that the little dots have like a metallic uh, look to them but again don't guide yourself by that because I heard that the early releases also use the same exact tissue paper inside the box there's like a little blue stamp right there the side panels are double sided as you can see and uh, some more numbers over here with the, the inserts, you want to make sure that they have that glitter effect. I heard the early releases didn't have it. It was just like a, a flat color. But as you can see, these have the little glitter. These are for uh, shoes that are 10 and a half through 12. Let me give you a quick look at the shoes before uh, I get into the details. Here's the other one. So let's start with the infamous uh, toe cap section of the shoe, this front part here. As you can see in the retail version, you can't really see the patent leather. I mean, it kind of peeks through because I'm like extremely close to the shoes and there's like a strong lighting. But if you look at pictures or videos of the early releases, you'll notice that this uh, section here is completely see-through. And you can see the, the patent leather. Another thing you want to look for is the Jumpman Jordan um, strip here on the tongue. Make sure that the R in Jordan, that it looks like an R. And it's not missing that little stitch right there in the corner which uh, without it, it makes the R look like a Q. Of course, you don't want to overlook the stitching. Make sure it's uh, neatly done and it's not all jacked up, going all over the place. You should follow the, the lines where the material is cut. Also remember that on the 2011 Retros, both Jumpmans should be facing the same direction with the basketball on the left hand. This is the, the left shoe. So you can see the ball is almost touching the black part. And uh, even if it gets closer than that and it actually touches it, it's uh, it could still be legit. It could just be a quality control issue. Here's the 23 on the back of the shoe. It sits uh, slightly higher than halfway. But just make sure it's uh, nice and neat with no uh, pieces missing or anything like that. Make sure the cuts are nice here at the bottom. That everything uh, lines up 
you don't want this little joint here to be like off to the side that wouldn't be good here's a wider shot make sure your toe boxes look nice and smooth you don't want any uh, warping or bubbles or things like that let me show you the laces real quick this is the tag that should be on the inside of the tongue the insoles are black with a white jump man and if the shoes are new they should have the, the size uh, sticker here's the size tag inside the shoe these were made between 7, 12, 11 and 9, 13, 11 uh, those numbers do vary but as long as you have a couple of months between uh, you know both dates you should be okay let me show you the bottom here's the carbon fiber they went with the all black look it's not checkered like the originals I also heard that the jump man on the bottom shouldn't be too close to the to this oval here make sure it has a little space between the ball and the oval and of course the soles should have the the icy blue tint and always remember even if the shoes are legit uh, sometimes they do have imperfections for example uh, my pair is a little messed up here in the front shouldn't look like that should look like that but you know sometimes uh, things get past quality control alright guys that's gonna do it uh, I think I covered uh, the most important things you should uh, keep an eye out for if I missed anything uh, feel free to uh, leave it in the comments below uh, if you like the video, remember to hit the thumbs up, and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.